There is 100% a ghost here. This video is sponsored by Warner Brothers. Thanks, bros. And you might be like, Phil, where are you? What the hell is happening? Well, <laughs> I'm kind of wondering that myself, as I'm going to be trying to spend the night in a haunted hotel. So I'm here and scared because of Doctor Sleep, which is a new film coming out on October 31st, and it is a sequel to The Shining, which is probably the most famous book or movie about a haunted hotel and all of the spirits that live in it. So to celebrate the spooky season, I've decided to stay in this old notoriously haunted hotel in London, and I've armed myself with some ghost hunting equipment. I don't even know what this is. It's a thing. And hopefully we're gonna see some ghosties or not. I don't know. Do I want to see one? Kind of, I kind of want to see one for the video, but then I also don't want to be possessed and pee myself. It's only 8 p.m. and I'm already getting the heebs and jeebs. I went to see the film the other day and let's just say it's pretty tense. I was gripping my popcorn instead of eating it, which is probably a first for me. Also, it has its fair share of big scares. And remember in The Shining, there's a little kid, Danny Torrance, who gets big zoomies on his tricycle and sees the girls that are like, come play with us, and the scary one in the bath. Doctor Sleep is about Danny when he's grown up to be a kind of troubled adult. I mean, you would be if your dad chased you through a frozen maze with an axe. But <laughs> he's also grown up to be Ewan McGregor which is pretty lucky. He has something called the shine, which is a supernatural gift of some kind. And I think you mainly see it with him because he sees the ghosts and he also has some telepathic abilities as well. In the film, I just heard a noise. Okay, it's begun. I haven't even started yet. In the film, he goes back to the evil Overlook Hotel where it all began. And let's just say some spooky stuff goes down. And that's putting it lightly. Why did I decide to do this video after I saw the movie? I should have done it before. I'd be far less scared. Here's what happened earlier when I arrived. At least it's not room 237. Okay, I just got in the room and <laughs> it's not doing itself any favors because it totally looks haunted. Full size view of the bed. I mean, it's really lovely. It's just screaming ghostly activity to me. I'm also in a basement room. So I feel like if there's any dead people, they have been buried beneath my feet. This little fire burner's cute. Hopefully it won't switch on in the middle of the night and set me on fire. Or this fan could blow cold air at me to death. <laughs> I was like, what dangerous thing could that do? Ah yes, my important bucket of metal rods. Why buy a tissue box or a book when you can combine them? Hoot hoot bitch. Terrifying old chair. Check. I'm really confused because there's no bathroom in here. <laughs> um, wait. Uh, <laughs> I thought this was a wall, I'm such an idiot. Ooh, that's nice. Cursed toilet. I mean, that looks pretty new. I don't think the toilet is cursed. Now that is a snazzy shower. I'm gonna have some good times in here. That sounded wrong, but you know what I mean? Rainfall. Rain on me, ghost daddy. See, I was all for complimenting the shower, but then this curtain is not, <laughs> it's not helping my vibes. I sounded like an old grandmother. Maybe she's already possessed me. Children. Eat my toffee. That's what my grandma used to say. Would you like a toffee? Every food with a toffee. The light is also pretty cr Oh my God. <laughs> Just I'm fully jump scared. <laughs> By that, what is that? It's a bird. Okay, so that's gonna be watching me sleep. There's the bird. There's the bed. I feel like I'm in an actual castle. I'm a bit scared that I'm gonna wake up in the night and there's gonna be a ghost sat in that chair. Can it just, can we tuck it in please? Goodbye. Face away. No, that's even creepier if it's facing away. So I've dimmed the lights and I thought we could read about why the hotel is haunted. So in 1989, the manager of the hotel was showing a visitor around the hotel and there was a group of children laughing and running around upstairs. So the visitor went down to reception and was like, um, excuse me, can you tell those children to be quiet? I'm sure they use that voice there. And the recep receptionist, the receptionist said, there are no children checked into the hotel today, sir. In 1991, someone reported that an old man had sat on the edge of their bed in the middle of the night. No, no. I don't want an old man on the edge of my bed. Although maybe he could keep me company. Gerald, come sit with me. No, I, I take it back, <laughs> I take it back. So apparently the ghosts arrive around midnight, so I'm gonna get cozy, make myself a coffee, and then we'll see what we can find. Okay, I don't know if you can hear it, but I was just making a drink and this rumble has started in the room. Like a really deep rumble around that corner. But then it keeps stopping. It doesn't sound mechanical, it's just like a, a really deep vibration. That's slightly freaking me out. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm being serious. Ghosty, are you there? Rumble if you're there. Of course it stopped now. Maybe they just had something that was vibrating quite intensely and they dropped it on the floor. 
Do we want to know? Ah, this video is sponsored by Warner Brothers. So before I get any of my ghost gadgets out, I thought I could just ask the room if there's a ghost here. You know, just like straight up, don't need any technology, just gonna have a chat. So, oh my God. <laughs> Did you hear, you must have heard that. I think it was just someone in another room, but it was definitely a bang. Make a noise if you're gonna haunt me tonight. There's lots of creakiness happening. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. I'm not a fan of the creakiness in this scenario. So the first thing on my ghosty shopping list was a UV light, which is very questionable of a thing to bring to a hotel room, let's be honest. But apparently, if you switch off all the lights, you might see a ghost here. Oh my god, look at my teeth. That's more, <laughs> that's more horrifying than anything that's going to be in this video. Oh, nice to meet you. Losing subscribers by the second. This is quite atmospheric. Okay, I'm gonna admit something now. I've got a slight, and when I say slight, I mean a medium fear of looking up chimneys, especially in the dark and especially in a haunted hotel. So I'm gonna have a look up the chimney, but I don't wanna do it, I don't wanna do it. <gasps> oh, it goes all the way up. Uh, oh. oh, oh, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like some kind of demon is gonna crawl down it and grab my face and drag me into the sky. I mean, is that Santa? Am I thinking about Santa? I don't know, but no. I would rather, mm, hang. Uh, I would rather there wasn't a chimney in this room. As much as I love these lamps, they kind of look like they're made of human skin, which is giving me vibes. Every time I turn my back to that chair, I'm like, <gasps> <gasps> my jumper's making a weird shape. Go away, stop, stop. Hold. Okay, you're 50 times more sinister in the dark, Mr. Owl. You can turn around and not face the bed. I look like a floating head. It's been about 10 minutes with the lights fully off and I am getting a bit nervous now. There's a lot of creaks and bangs and general noises that I know are just other people, but every time I hear one, I'm like, <sniffs> fill in the headlights. So I'm gonna switch the lights on and use another gadget. So I've also got a retro tape recorder, which I'm pretty excited by, and some tapes. If you're a youngling, you might not even know. This is where music came from. So put the tape in. And I thought I could record the ambience of the room and see if there's any ghosts that are like, what up or whatever. Oh, geez. Should you press play and record? What is your name? Let's stop that. And we can listen back and see if there's any ghosties on the tape. What is your name? I heard something then. Is that just me breathing? Wait, let me play that again. What is your name? That's definitely a sound. I don't know if it's a ghost sound, but it's a sound. What is your name? So what I could do is get the sound file of this and see if we could like slow it down or make it more clear. Hacker action. I've enhanced it and you can kind of hear something. It doesn't really, <laughs> it doesn't really sound like anything, but I've listened to it about a thousand times and I might be going crazy or I think it sounds a bit like Henry or help me or horny or <laughs> <laughs> Help the bees. I don't know. Listen. It's like, <sighs> I don't remember breathing like that. So I slowed it down and we've got. That's definitely like a. <sighs> and then I reversed it. Now that to me sounds like brown dog. Brown dog. My hypothesis is <laughs> that Gerald had a brown dog that was called Henry, or I just breathed when I was recording. It's made my heart go a little bit because it's kind of weird and I'm on my own and I've been told this room is haunted, so I'm on edge. That tapping has started again. Can you just stop whatever you're doing in there? Oh God, what's happening? You're covered by the curtain. The next thing I got was this electromagnetic frequency reader, which I'm very excited by and I might just use in all of my everyday life. And it basically scans to see where electromagnetic frequencies are higher, which I think ghosts produce, according to the internet. So it has light green, dark green, yellow, orange, and red. And I think if it goes into the orange or the red, then we're in ghost territory. Do I release any? No. It's quite interesting though, because look, my laptop, orange. Ooh, let's get the creepy cauldron out of the way first. Any ghosts? We're safe. Any ghosts in this fire? No, only the flames of hell. Scary corner. Ghosties? Nope. Lamp? Nope, the lamp is fine. 
Hoot hoot. This video is sponsored by Warner Brothers. Do any ghosts on the bed? <gasps> on this side of the bed it's going red. That is crazy. What? What is over here? Is it the lamp? No, it's not. The lamp is... Oh, it's got a bit... No. <gasps> there is 100% a ghost here. Gerald, touch my hand. Give me a sign. Well, that's horrifying. I'm going to be sleeping on this side of the bed and making a pillow fort between me and Gerald. Toilet ghost? <gasps> yeah, you nearly dropped it in the toilet. Oh my god. That would have been a disaster. Is there a ghost in the shower? That's weird. Is there currently a naked ghost here and we just can't see it? It's gone back to green again now, obviously. I didn't like that compliment. <laughs> oh, ah, ah, ah. What? No. There's 100% a naked showering ghost. And I wanted to have a shower later, so that's gonna be... Oh, it's in the sink as well. Oh, great. Okay, I just hate this room. So in the Doctor Sleep movie, Danny Torrance communicates with a teenage girl called Abra, who also has the shine, but he communicates with her through telepathy using a chalkboard. So I thought I'd try a bit of automatic writing. Is that what it's called? Psychic writing? Something of writing, where basically you clear your mind and just let your hand take you wherever you go, and then the ghost... <laughs> will give you a message. I hate the sensation of chalk on chalkboard, so this is a big sacrifice for you guys. Right, Gerald, come into, <laughs> come into my brain <laughs> and possess my hand. I'm not even gonna think about what's happening. That looks a bit like a face. It's like a screaming face. Can you see that? And then that could be a musical note. So maybe Gerald had a funky haircut and then was an opera singer. That looks like a lamp, actually. Can you see that? Maybe the ghost is in the lamp. <gasps> my thing, the thing. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Oh, it's stopping now. That was so weird. It was just flashing red. Oh, it's back, it's back. No. Is there a ghost? If there's a ghost, flash red. Why would it, why would like such a boost of electromagnetism just come into the room? That's the most ghosty thing. There is literal tapping coming from behind the shower curtain. And I haven't used the shower yet. What is that? Why are you making a noise? If you're the ghost, keep tapping. That's really weird. It sounds like it's coming from this light. Goodbye, Tappy McTapperson. The last thing in my bag of tricks is this motion sensor light, which was actually sold as a ghost motion sensor. So I don't think it's a typical one. I'm gonna put this at the other side of the room and <laughs> I feel like this is a terrible idea. If something moves in the room, like a ghost, this is gonna light up. I just realized for the entirety of filming this video that my pajamas have been inside out. So <laughs> give yourself a pat on the back if you noticed. I haven't even gone to bed yet and this has already been quite a scary experience. I mean, when this went red, I freaked out. But I don't think we should ignore all the evidence we got. I mean, this went crazy for no reason. We had the weird noise in the recorder, we had the tappy taps that came from nowhere, the noise. So basically I've proved ghosts are real and we should <laughs> stop debating it. But now the hardest thing, I've got to go to bed. I might watch something calming on my laptop so I, <laughs> I don't just fully freak out. But yeah, I'm gonna have a haunted shower and then <laughs> get into bed. I'm robing it up. You've gotta do it if you come to a hotel. You've gotta put the robe on. I had a slight experience in the shower, which <laughs> I thought was paranormal, but I actually just pressed my butt against the cold tap and fully sprayed myself with cold water. It was <laughs> horrifying, but also terrifying because I thought the ghost that I'd seen from the electromagnetic thing had arrived. I've got a divinely chocolate cookie. Um, something just moved on the ceiling. It was just a shadow, like a shadow moved. Was it my, no, what was that? Okay, there's something on the ceiling. Gerald is here. I wanna enjoy this cookie, so can you just wait two minutes? This light was on earlier and now it's just not working. I don't know if the bulb just went, but that is a coincidence to say we had the lamp that the ghost drew. Am I seeing a pattern in everything or is it haunted? I'm obviously in bed. Uh, I've built my pillow fort so Gerald can't get me. This is a bit of a precarious situation for my bed drink, but there's no bedside table on this side and I don't want to sleep on that side because that's where the ghost is. So I'm just hoping I don't flail around in my sleep. Otherwise the ghost in the chair is going to get a wet crotch. I fully was about to go to sleep with my contact lenses on, so that was a close call. Uh, 
<laughs> that would be the true horror. Phil goes to hospital because his eyes have fused together. Ooh, I'm a ghost. This video is sponsored by Warner Brothers. Okay, I'm actually peeing my pajamas because the ghost lamp just freaking lamped it up. I did roll over quite violently in bed. I don't know. <laughs> I was having a dream about goats. Um, that's another story. But, oh, my heart is beating so fast. I... Oh, okay, it's gone. It's kind of worse now. It's gone. It's so dark. It might have just been me rolling over, but if I try and roll over now... Oh, okay. <laughs> so it was me jigging around. <laughs> that must have been a pretty epic roll over in bed. I will try not to do that again. Uh, it's gone. I got up to pee and... It sounds like I'm peeing now, it's not, it's not me. It's the tap is dripping. And I swear, I fully screwed that in. Okay, why don't I just switch the light on before I started talking to you? Ooh, that is some interesting bed hair. You all right, Baza? Did I wake you up? I can't sleep. I, I think it's just the adrenaline of waking up to that light earlier. So I'm gonna count some sheep. Or maybe Danny Torrance could come in and help me drift off. Not in a dying way, just in a a sleep way. Morning has broken. I've survived. I didn't get eaten by a ghost. I actually slept for about probably five, five hours. I didn't hear any children running around or screaming, which was one of the things, but I did sense Gerald might have been in the room. I think I was so tired that even if it was dancing around on my bed, I wouldn't have noticed. So Gerald, there you go, you win. We didn't get conclusive proof, but I did feel a bit of a spook. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a happy Halloween and I will see you very soon. Goodbye. Make sure to check out Dr. Sleep if you want a spook and thanks to Warner Brothers for sponsoring this video.